This presentation will address why microtubules require organizing centers, such as centrosomes, to nucleate their growth. Nucleate, in essence, means to organize or centralize something. In this case, microtubules are nucleated at organizing centers. Organizing centers are crucial for controlling the number, orientation, and location of microtubules. Typically, in an animal cell, the organizing center is the centrosome, which is made up of two centrioles. Centrioles are, are perpendicular cylindrical shaped organelles that are surrounded by a matrix of rings of tubulin, which is what microtubules are made of. These rings form nucleation sites, which is where microtubules attach and form. In theory, microtubules could self-assemble in the cytoplasm without these nucleation sites to get them started. However, this does not actually occur. The reason for this is that to form the initial starting tubulin ring requires a high concentration of free tubulin dimers in the cytoplasm. Typically, these dimers are not found in a high enough concentration to form a full ring, only enough to build off the ring structure. Therefore, the organizing centers, like centrosomes, act as a jumping off point for microtubule growth and create greater control on their locations and orientation. In addition, microtubules have a property called dynamic instability, which allows for them to assemble and disassemble rapidly and continuously. To get a microtubule to stay assembled and become a stable part of the cytoskeleton, it must, be, it must come in contact with another cell structure. The organizing centers help orient the microtubule growth so that they will attach if a pathway for a motor proton is needed, or more structure is needed in the cytoskeleton, or for mitotic cell division.